Keanu Petty in lane eight. Chiswell Johnson, seven. Chadwick Van Bijk, six. Keith Leo Clare, line five. Obakim Baloi, four. Mugella, four, three. Here we go. Quiet for the start before we fly. Now I'll safely away this time around who's going to be chasing down. Here's the man. It's going to, it's going to be Konoshe. It's going to be chased down. No, Mugella is going to be firing on. Is it going to be Jake Gifley or Taylor? It's going to be stopped in. Oh, yes! 9.94. Gifley or Taylor is back with a vengeance. Once again, you saw it before one of 100 meter relays. Can we give them an all? Give Leo Taylor, come down here to the start line. Come down here to the finish line so we can welcome you with warm, warm applause. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic race. And those of you wondering about the wind, it is perfectly legal. 1.13. Give Leo Taylor, you beauty. 1.1 even and if your camera came and it's match. Goodness me. Come at the hour. Come at the gift, the gift of speed. Oh my gosh, we are so excited. You literally blew the stadium apart. You ran a 9.95. How do you feel? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get that question a lot and I don't know. It's just a lot of mixed emotions. I don't know how to feel, but I know I'm feeling a lot. I mean, three races in one day. You took it easy in the heat. In the semifinals, you came in with an unofficial 10.04. Just two hours later, you come and rip up the track with a PV for the year. I mean, come on, you're doing great. And I know that we're going to see amazing things going forward. Tell us, what was your thoughts before that race? Just to enjoy the race. Simple, just like that. Simple. I don't want to think about time or anything like that. I just want to enjoy the race and I know everything will come because I put in the work. So. And I when you crossed that finish line, how did you feel? Yeah, I was happy. Oh, finally, <laughs> I and was happy. I didn't even care about the win. I was just happy. I managed to run it again. So I was really happy. And Gift, we saw how happy your coach was as well. <laughs> Tell us, how important is it to have a good relationship with your coach, especially for someone like you who's having the most amazing comeback season? I think it's very important to have a good relationship, a trusting relationship with your coach because um, you, you, you're going to go through a lot together. So you have to build a bond, a strong bond. And uh, when moments like this happen, you know, just cherish it. Gift, we know we've seen you in the 200 meters. We know you're going to bring fire to the track. We back you 100% and we cannot wait to see what you're going to produce for us. All the best. Thank you. Can't wait.